Okay, we're gonna do an interior walk around on my 89 MR2 uh, Mark 1.5. So you guys see everything that's in here. Um, so door cards, it's right there, have been modified so that the entire door is the uh, enclosure for that uh, MB Quartz speaker there. And you can see the quality of work is very, very good. Uh, this was also reupholstered in the uh, same, uh, I believe it's uh, not real leather, but vinyl as the seats. Uh, there is a MB Quart tweeter in the footwells. And then the dashboard, of course, is in excellent shape uh, with the original steering wheel. Uh, this car was built to appear as a restoration while packing some serious heat uh, in the engine bay. Uh, power windows, power locks, uh, as the 89s have. This is the newer interior. And it's got the original MR2 floor mats. There's the gauge cluster. As you can see the dashboard in excellent shape. There are a couple of very minor things like that. Uh, air conditioning and heater both work. Uh, and the stereo has been uh, replaced with a uh, Pioneer head unit touchscreen that ties into an iPod that is in the glove box, but there's fully controlled from the touchscreen. Uh, wiper controls, headlight controls, and your fog light switch, which goes to the aftermarket fog lights. There's your adjustments for the uh, lighting and the gauge cluster. Uh, the first generation MR2s are famous for having these vents down here, which are, are the ball chillers. Um, so those are there and they do work. The 89, or, or the supercharged car, had that switch, which is a fuel selection switch. It's not currently wired up to anything, but it does light up. So, um, on the interior of this car, uh, all of the lighting, interior and exterior, has been switched over to LEDs. So when you turn on the lights... center console with the unused ashtray and the non-sunken uh, shift boot park and brake does work uh, these are the uh, the sunroof sunroof covers so, it's got a few things there but the seats are in good shape and then the center console goes all the way back and does have the little cubby hole that all of the MR2s have uh, rear speakers I don't know what's in there, but it does have aftermarket rear speakers and it does have aftermarket front speakers in the dash. Then quarter windows and the rear window are tinted. The sides are not. You can see everything is where it should be and in excellent shape. So. The uh no signs of leakage, so everything is rust-free on the inside. A lot of times with these T-top cars, you'll find that uh, the seat bolts and such are all all rusty. So. Even has a little arm on here. Those usually fall off. Here's the T-top shade. And then we've got some Rockford Fosgate subs behind the seats. This thing uh, sounds pretty incredible once you get the stereo going. Uh, honestly, I rarely use the stereo. Um, so it does have that iPod, but uh, you're gonna you're pretty much guaranteed to hate about half the music on there. That said, it is a pretty wide variety. So, uh, T-tops, let's see if these are unlocked. Nope, they're locked. Seals are in good shape. Everything works. Now uh, this car has only been 
in the rain one time in my ownership and it was pretty mild uh, and it's never been through a car wash. I'll show you the other side.